No, you did not land on the wrong video, ladies and gentlemen. What is going on, Toxic Gamers? Today, we gotta talk about it. Brother is not stopping, though. We still got the BBC Samurai situation. That is raging wildfires. More so than that, we got the Ubisoft situation. These suckers have completely lost their effing mind. And they're like, hey, all men are enemies. They're not allowed. And this is something that we heard. First of all, like the video if you think they're two genders. Dislike the video if you think they're 5,000 genders. Gotta give everybody equal rights, okay? Equal rights, equal diversity, all that, okay? You, you feel what I'm Right? But these suckers are like, hey man, nope! Gamers are toxic, okay? Men not allowed, okay? Gamers are gonna get unfinished games filled with microtransactions. We gotta be like all about strong independence. I mean, I get this. I get that. But, dog, when you're gonna be like Ubisoft, there's a Ubisoft mentorship program developed at Ubisoft that discriminates against males based on their, cannot say that word on YouTube because YouTube might think about something else. And they, yeah, a lot of people looking, but check this out, right? So Ubisoft mentorship program, Ubisoft, did you know that mentorship got the word men in it? Did you know? That without men, there's no mentorship. <laughs> so y'all suck is gonna be developing a mentorship program where you're gonna openly say that I you must identify as a woman or non-binary individual. Like bruh. bruh. Like bruh. Like what what if a man is like, hey, uh, you know, I, or what if a woman is like a real born woman identify herself as a man? We got a problem, we got a clear problem out here. Y'all suck as crazy, but ladies and gentlemen, I give you, okay? Get ready for this one, man. Uh, put your seat belts on, guys. Clench your butt cheeks, hide your kids, hide your wives, because I give you the homie Sun Grand, or a homie from Sun Grand Studios. When the world needed him most, he returned, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-oh, let's get to this one, boys. Thank you for joining me. Yeah. Today, I will address game developers and publishers all around the world. Okay. First, I would like to share advice that has served me well working in professional environments. A wise man learns from his mistakes, and an even wiser man learns from other people's mistakes. Today, I will explain the failures of Ubisoft. And a fool learns from nobody. Explain what other developers and publishers can learn to avoid becoming the same kind of failure. And lastly, my personal apology. This video will offer critical comment on the state of Ubisoft and its developers. Please wait until the end of the video so I can share my formal apology. I got you, brother. Take it, take it away, brother. Take it away, take it away. It has been revealed recently that for game development, Ubisoft hired diversity activists as consultants with a focus on challenging moral standards. Ubisoft is offering mentorship programs while excluding individuals based on their gender. I ask you, what is fun about challenging moral standards? How does that translate into a good gaming experience? Yeah. Star Wars Outlaws from Ubisoft has launched as an abject, catastrophic failure. Yeah. Even the most basic mechanical aspects of the product are incompetently implemented. <laughs> One might wonder how a company with millions of dollars of funding can produce something lacking in even the most- You imagine you are given millions and millions of dollars to produce and you are producing this turd and you're producing this turd as well. Holy crap, bro. Ban all men! We need to ban all men, okay? Because men are menace to society. Men are toxic. Gamers are toxic. Everybody toxic. <laughs> you know, th this is absolutely wild, right? Because they got a clear problem. Ubisoft, like, so uh, so Listen, y'all sick has got a real or uh, there are probably no sun out there, right? Yeah. Like, let's be real, they don't like men. Okay, fair. But you guys are saying you must identify as a woman or a non-binary individual. Okay, fair, fair, fair. But I'm saying, like, what about a woman, right? Like, what about a woman that identify herself as a man? Yeah, right? Like, then what? Like, you're not gonna let her him in like that? Like, yeah, we got a clear problem yeah. though. We got a clear problem, man. We need solutions, guys. We need solutions, and ever since people have heard that, like, you know, there has been, like, a massive, like, disaster after disaster. Sick is looking like this. The homie Yang yeah, went into a coma right after seeing the PS5 Pro design as well, and I want to show you that after that as well. Uh, not necessarily the homie Yang yeah, but we gotta, I gotta show you, like, something, right? And, man, where my simple gang at, though? Shout out to my simple gang! Simple. Simple. Simple, okay. I shout out to <laughs> shout out to so Illuminati man. Love the guy, man. He never really makes videos anymore. He makes like once in a while, and whenever he does, uh, you know, suckers are there, okay. But uh oh, uh, let's get to it, boo boo. Most basic level of competence. We are no longer living in an era where multi-million dollar companies hold all the power. 
Mm. The everyday gamer now has the power to rise up Facts. against tyrants and incompetence. Ubisoft's Assassin's Creed Shadows will fail on launch. The entirety of the gaming industry has indicated that there is absolutely no confidence in Ubisoft to produce a competent product. Yeah. So let's see what we can learn from Ubisoft's failures. Oh, let's Instead see. of hiring game developers, artists, and writers who have natural talent and skill that has been refined and cultivated from years of hard work, companies are funding and hiring based on skin color and sexual identity and yeah, politics. Crazy. Whoa. These are the people Whoa. who made Star Wars Outlaws. These are the people who made Assassin's Creed Shadows. Companies do not make video games. Money does not make video games. People make video games. Mm. Awful people make awful video games. And awful video games will not earn your company meaningful revenue. <laughs> Ubisoft has totally missed the mark by claiming they are delivering an accurate representation of Japanese history and culture. They spit in the face of Japan as a country and as people. Ubisoft is using Japan as fodder or I, I want to I want to know like where brother is from uh, though like uh, of course like he's Asian uh, I'm Asian myself but I'm Pakistani I'm like South Asian right but he's like uh, East Asian uh, but, but where fr uh, from where exactly but now nah, he ain't wrong though he ain't wrong though and of course like you know he's probably nowhere near I what am I even talking about like he all of us right like all of Bruh. us myself included he, he him me you guys watching 95% of you guys are you guys watching this video we're, we're not allowed to play Ubisoft games okay we're not allowed anywhere near Ubisoft games because they don't like us man they don't like us this thing is crazy man they openly say that hey man gamers toxic okay oh man gamers don't oh, okay so you, you gotta gamers gotta feel real comfortable not owning our games Ubisoft said that. Ubisoft said that, okay? And right now, everybody's like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna feel, I'm feeling kind of real comfortable right now not owning your games, Ubisoft. I think you should feel real comfortable not making the money. That's like Gamers 101 to Ubisoft. That's what's going on right now. But as we get down to the content here, real quick, guys, I gotta shout out the homies out there for actually following over on the Instagram. Shout out to the homie Darius out there. Shout out to the homie uh, Claudia or to the gal Claudia. T uh, first D W D W O L friend uh, froze. Appreciate you guys, Bruce. Uh, appreciate all of you guys for following over on Instagram. If you do have Instagram, I would definitely love to have you there. I let you get back to the content now, boo boo. Diversity checklists to pander to an audience they have imagined, because they have a narrow perspective of the world and are blinded by their own self-importance and ego. These people are not capable of accepting that they can be wrong about anything they will be unable to improve as artists and developers. So, lesson one, hire based on talent and skill. Hire well-adjusted adults who have some perspective of the world. If someone mentions their pronouns or sexual identity as one of their defining traits, then this person very likely has no other defining traits. Yeah! Hey, whoa, 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 hey, tranquilo, uh, tranquilo, papi, papi, chill, papi, hey, hey, papi, hey, slow your rolls, papi and has very little of value to offer in a creative or professional environment. Lesson two, using diversity consultants will not make a product better. The gaming audience will identify the red flags of superficial diversity consultants, and they will understand when a product is not created in good faith. Using diversity consultants will cause a product to fail, as we are seeing time and time again across a range of entertainment mediums. Lesson three, do not let your development team members perform PR duties and damage control. These people will cause more harm than good. Rely on experienced, trained PR managers to perform these duties. Uh, trained PR individuals at Ubisoft don't exist, bro. Bruh. <laughs> they don't exist, man. This is why they're having a mentorship, right? You cannot, I mean, this is crazy, man. There is no mentorship without men, bro. This should be called woman tership, right? And that would be fine. I mean, damn, right? Like, uh, y'all suckers need some strong, independent ships out there. I get, listen, man. I like, I get it though. Like, I yeah, like sometimes you know, we humans, we work in communities, right? Like, we have communities. That is perfectly fine though. You know, having a community where it's like women only or men only or like sp particular race only, that's fine. But when you are screaming from the mountain tops that your company is gonna be all about diversity, inclusivity, and you are like, ah, ee, ooh, ah, ah. you love, you love everybody, everybody strong, everybody independent. Dog, you suckers are so racist. 
you're racist to black people, you always use them as shields, always make them gay, and in doing so, you're using LGBT people as shields as well, yeah, <sighs> yeah, exactly, right, like, these suckers crazy, they dunk, openly dunk on Asian people, I mean, for crying out loud, like in Assassin's Creed, the BBC Samurai situation, right, using LGBT people as shields, making black people gay in the game, and, and, and using a real-life black person, Yasuke was a real-life man, he was not a samurai is what we're hearing, they still made him, he was not gay, they still made him though, if he was in real life, I said a million times, it would have made sense to do it, right? It, for example, right, if he is, if he's gay in real life, then yeah, make him in the game, right? Like, yeah, it, uh, what are we talking about? But if he's not, don't do it! These seconds are like, nah, bro, you black, we gotta do that! We gotta make you gay in the game, bro! Oh, shit. What the hell, Ubisoft, what the hell? And of course, they use him, and uh, they, they he's killing all the Asian people in the game, right? So there we go. They openly say <laughs> white people bad, so they're openly being racist towards uh, white people, right? What about brown people? <laughs> where are the? Where is my representation? And where is the representation of my people? Damn it! I'm brown. I'm like South Asian and Pakistani. Okay, ethnically brown. Uh, people call that region of the world brown people. Okay, I did not make that up. That that's basically what everybody said. Bruh. Okay. So, yeah, I'm considered brown. And Ubisoft is like, bro, brown people don't exist. So, this thing like, is crazy. This thing like, is racist towards everybody, mate. And then they do something like this. They're like, hey, diversity, inclusivity for everybody. You know what? Leave half of the gender. <laughs> Leave out half of the gender. They're like, okay, nah, man, if you're a man, we don't want you, man. <laughs> we don't want you. We don't want you. And we don't want you. Damn, this thing like, is. Damn, this thing like, is crazy, bro. We have largely failed this generation of game developers. It will take hard work, and we will have to work together. But we can make the next generation of developers into the strongest and most creatively capable we have ever seen. We can foster the next generation of developers by sharing our knowledge and experience, by explaining the values of design philosophy that matter, and by explaining the failures of this generation. But lastly, my apology. To the people of the development teams of games like Assassin's Creed Shadows and other similar games that have launched recently. To the diversity consultants who advise major companies on how to write their stories and focus on identity politics. I worked closely with some of the leaders of the generation that came before me. It was the generation who came before me who was responsible for ensuring that all of you would be able to grow up into well-adjusted, intelligent, and well-informed adults with at least some perspective of the real world. It was our responsibility to ensure that you grew up into decent human beings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I see now that we have failed you on every single level possible. <laughs> oh, man, brother is taking accountability. I love this man. I love this man. I love this man. He's like me, right? Like, you. usually I also say that, like, I apologize on their behalf and all that, right? Yeah. You probably, if you have been around the channel, you probably, you must have heard me say here and there. Um, guys, like, listen, I apologize on their behalf and genuinely, I, I mean it when I say this. Guys, I, I do apologize on the behalf of Ubisoft. I, I do. I apologize on their behalf. Because those seconds are never gonna apologize, but I apologize on their behalf, man. I apologize on their behalf. Take this apology. <laughs> yo, yo, these seconds are crazy. And there's a wait for it. There's more. There's more. For wait that, for it. I apologize. Wait for it. I won't be able to help you as it is too late. Damn. But I will work hard every day to ensure that the next generation of young people does not have to grow up into failures like you. Mm. Thank you. Now I want to present you, okay, ladies and gentlemen. With this one, okay, we gotta, we gotta also uh, put a, an extra seat belt on, okay. We're gonna play some GTA 5 heist music in the background because you, you, you're probably aware of what just went down. If you're not, you're gonna hear about it, right? Because there was a highway robbery in broad daylight under God's hot sun. It happened approximately four days ago. Okay, massive heist happened on gamers, okay, gamers wallets, on gamers wallets, okay, huge heist went down, biggest heist of the century in the history of all mankind in gaming, alright, and you're probably like thinking to yourself, uh, are you talking about that skizzle, or, or are you talking about that, or this, or that, there's so many heists happening on uh, gamers wallets, I get that, it's, it, it can be hard, like, whoa, 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 right, like, it, it can be hard to know, like, what type of heist, uh, yeah, it's hard to know, right? Because like there has there has been so many highs that has happened on the players' wallets. Ladies and gentlemen, put your another seat belt on. Let's actually get into this one here. Roll it. 
you know it's bad when the brother is breathing and the audio compression is not letting you hear it completely tony what are you doing i don't have a speech today there's no script here i don't have a scripted speech i don't have a keynote i don't have anything industry related to say what is going on what is happening over there we absolutely need to discuss this because oh, yeah. what's going on right now mm. is not good mm. i'm so confused as to what you are doing and I would like to offer some counsel pro bono. I shouldn't even be here today talking to you. I shouldn't even be offering any advice or counsel to you because I do work for your competition. But I feel... Context, we're talking about the robbery that went down with PS5 Pro, that being $700, no vertical stand, no massive improvement, no disk drive as well, 700 USD, right? And he just say he don't want to talk about it. He should not be giving you advice. Because he works for the opposite, so does that mean that he works for Xbox? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. There we go, man. Plot twist of the century, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I think we just got more stakes in this one. Roll this. Really sorry for you because you are humiliating yourself in a way that I've never seen before, and I just feel so bad for you. In the past, I've advised and I've conducted industry speeches for companies like Canon, Nikon, Epson, and Fujifilm, and I have never seen any major company take as many missteps in sequence this badly as Thanks. what you're doing right now, Sony. Thanks. Again, I don't have a script for you, I just... I can't understand what your thought process is right now. So, Let it all Sony, you really need a brand manager who has a stronger understanding of the current industry landscape and is able to understand the perspectives and the needs of Sony's audience. A strong brand manager needs to be able to see more than just dollar signs, and you need to be able to read the room and check the temperature. Mm. Your oh, goodwill forgot. with your audience is at an all-time low. Mm, it is not nice. good right now. You do not need me to tell you why. You've had a number of missteps, and now you've increased the prices on some of your consoles in some countries. You've increased the price on controllers. You have announced the PS5 Pro at a price point which people are expressing they do not find fair for the features that are the bulk of the value of this new console. And you absolutely need to hear that. You need to listen to that. You cannot afford to cover your ears and just block people out. You have to listen. Yeah, and let's not even kid ourselves, right? The reason they're, they're charging people that much money for... No, it would be one thing if, like, the upgrade was honestly, like, big. I know on paper they're saying that... 45% upgrade, but we all saw the gameplay. We all saw the graphics. It's not 45% better. What are we talking about on the normal PS5 box and hell, even on the Xbox box, uh, right? Like, okay, like if you're an Xbox, Andy, don't laugh. You're like, I, I know you want to laugh. You want to do helicopters and all that because like this is one of those days where finally we have some bad news for PlayStation, right? It always happens, right? Sega's always are like that, right? Like, whenever bad news hits uh, for Xbox, Sony ponies are always, like, doing that. Uh, whenever bad news for PlayStation hit, Xbox Andy's... I mean, uh, yeah, fair, okay, fair. Like, makes sense, right? And banter is fine. Like, jokes are fine, though. But when shit gets serious, or I should say when people get so serious and start, like, calling each other names uh, as though somebody insulted their mother, or, you know, when Sega's start behaving like uh, somebody insulted their mother based off of... Uh, what's going on with Sony, PlayStation, or Microsoft and Xbox? I mean, that's a little too much, though, you know? Like, yeah, it ain't that deep. It, ain't, it, it is deep, though. It is deep. We should all come together. Gamers deserve better. As a brown man, I demand free online for our our generation and our future generation as well. As a brown man, I demand that us, we gamers, deserve better games, okay? As a brown man, I demand PlayStation and Xbox, both of these consoles to have free online that's where i stand for if you stand for that like the video okay if not you can dislike the video and keep sucking sony bbc as well okay but here's <laughs> here's the thing though right like what are we talking about man 700 us dollars bro that is 960 canadian man like damn man this thing is crazy plus you add 15 percent state taxes because uh, in quebec i went to see jepetti then i went to berlin i see i went to all this uh, Shri on Quebec, so uh, I'm in Quebec, right? So, prov uh, for 15 per percent provincial state taxes. If, what are we talking, man? It's insane. So, if you want to get PS5 Pro, it's going to be 1100 Canadian. And if you want to get the disk drive with it, almost 1200. If you want to get the vertical stand as well, easily going to be like 1250 Canadian, somewhere around that. <laughs> what are we talking about? And in, in, 
in USD, it's probably gonna be like 820 or something like that with the disk drive and the vertical stand without the, I guess, the disk, uh, without the vertical stand, I guess 780, but I guess taxes as well, right? So easily gonna jump up 800. I'm not sure about the tax rates in, in, uh, in the US. Let me know, like, what's your tax rate in your state uh, in the comments below. But you get the idea, right? Now, of course, that price would have been justified in a way still is, 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 is expensive but don't get don't get me wrong if we had the vertical stand disk drive and the upgrade felt like 45 percent when we were looking at the gameplay then yeah people would be like you know what like yeah damn it's looking good right damn there's a massive jump but there is literally none you can literally use the sharpness filter on your monitor or on your pc or or on your tv Bruh right you can up the sharpness and there you go bro i talked about it i gave you guys this nice little hack and i'm giving you that again free of charge man there you go you don't need to get that right you don't need to get ps5 pro i mean if you still want to get it i mean it's your money at the end it's, it's your money at the end of the day you do you boo boo but uh if you're somebody that is like man like i don't see any upgrade like we deserve better than that oh absolutely don't buy that right but if you feel like that it's worth it then go for it i would say this if it turns out that gta 6 is not like uh 60 fps on the ps5 and but however it is on ps5 pro then that's just a cash grab they're doing it i guess in that way it would be worth it maybe give or take it's debatable i guess when we get to see that we're gonna talk about it when we get to find out whether it's 60 or 30 fps even on ps5 pro i guess that's when we're gonna be able to talk about it but i guess uh, yeah right we're gonna see how much of a difference it is but if it's like crazy difference then there's gonna be two arguments right either they're doing it on purpose and they have dumbed down the graphics uh, and purposely not added 60 fps on the normal xbox series x and the normal ps5 uh, right because they wanted to sell more ps5 bro they wanted you to buy that right so either they have done it purposely or they really like couldn't get 60 fps on the ps5 which i think is bull squash because on the normal ps5 box and xbox box right it's written 120 fps and 8k <laughs> what are we talking about and, and right now games are struggling to hit uh 30 fps majority let's be real are the xbox games guys I, i'm just being real majority of the xbox studios are having trouble usually speaking playstation do offer fidelity mode performance mode performance being 60 60 fps dynamic resolution sometimes 1080p sometimes 4k dynamic and fidelity is like 4k native and ray tracing and 30 fps right yeah so the upgrade is not there but, lady, le, le, but, but ladies and gentlemen let me know your thoughts in the comments below ne don't watch this video don't watch this video whatever you do guys don't watch this video check out the video on the left instead okay and i'll see you right there